recordings are being recorded for the sole purpose of constituting the accuracy of written minutes. Tapes are reused, eliminating recorded records of these proceedings. Approval of the minutes of the previous meeting held June 21st, 2018. Mr. Yes. Mr. Gerhardt? Yes. Mr. Nelson? Yes. Are there any guests concerning county business? Uh, yes, there is. All right. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Chris Lucas Savage from Jim Thorpe. So just let me make sure. Uh, Commissioner Gork, thank you so much for uh, three weeks ago making some public comments to Blue Ridge Cable in reference to my request for consideration of a proclamation. I, I appreciate that sincerely. Um, it seemed you were speaking informally uh, on behalf of all the commissioners uh, in regard to my request for consideration of a proclamation in support of the concerned voices of uh, Penn Forest Township in regard to the wind turbine. And I'd like to know what, if any, action uh, is being considered or not being considered as it pertains to that request made by me three weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, myself, I'm not considering it since it is a local issue and it is tied up in my uh, federal court. All right, well, I, I appreciate that, uh, Commissioner Notstein. Uh, let me go ahead and continue with my comments then. Quote, unquote, as a lifelong resident of Carbon County, I'm opposed to the possibility of wind turbines tarnishing our beautiful landscape. Building 40 windmills along our horizon nestled within the tourism-dependent Pocono region is not the answer. This individual added, quote, unquote, they are neither effective or safe. I don't necessarily agree with that. However, Doyle Hefley, representative states the effect of these are a reason to oppose so our state representative in this district feels it is an issue to be concerned with uh, resolution number 1503 by the carbon county commissioners dated 29 january 15 involved themselves with local concern of the penn east pipeline the project will pass through Carbon County, transiting many more designated natural areas. Hmm. Whereas, such a massive removal of vegetation and disturbance of soils within Carbon County will result to the detriment of underground water supplies. Whereas, proposed project will lower property values, raising health concerns, negatively impacting the environment, and creating economic loss to the area because of said issue. This project will clear vegetation. Now, therefore, be it resolved, County of Carbon objects to the construction. County of Carbon will act as intervener, objector, to preserve our ability to effectively represent the interests and residents of the township. For such a massive project, Carbon County requires the utmost in preventive safety preparations and fullest mitigation of all negative impacts for our residents and our environment. Not to be concerned with local issues. Last week, I believe the county weighed in on a local ordinance for Lee Heighton. I may be mistaken. Times News reported that a letter of support was sent for a private company's medical dispensary LLC to have a business in Lee Heighton. So I'm trying to understand what is the benchmark for being involved in local issues since there seems to be some discrepancy when and when not the commissioners will take action. Well, in the case of the pipeline, I think my biggest concern was the environmental impacts of that. Yeah. And it would be restored and the safety. And I feel that will be done. So, other than that, I have no further comments on the issue. And I'll stand with the, uh, uh, the I do not want to get involved in it, especially with it being a federal suit. All right. So, as you have in the past, the commissioners do not want to become involved in an issue like they did on January of 2015. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.
Tuesday, June 26th.